So the other thing that's in here that I pulled out to show you guys, and I didn't put it back, is somewhere over here, is I carry a can of tuna with me. A um, couple reasons. A can of tuna. If I'm hungry, I'm going to eat. Um, the second thing is that can of tuna is smelly. Right? So if I'm going to be somewhere and I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere, animals love it. So I can just sit up and I can set a trap and they're going to come to it after I've eaten it and they're going to try to lick it and I've caught an animal. So it serves multiple purposes. Um, and I get a whole lot more food out of it. Um, the other thing, oh, so this here is some cordage. The best cordage that you can get overall to do the most stuff is something called paracord or 550 cord. It comes with a bunch of cord inside. Um, the next thing to carry is dental floss. You ever try to rip dental floss besides using your teeth? Um, works really well and you can use it to tie up all kinds of stuff. You use it to sew up clothes. I've used it in the middle of nowhere to sew up clothes. This is some super, this is like 50 pound test, which means I can hang a 50 pound plate from this. This is a Kevlar string. I use it for setting traps um, or I use it for all kinds of stuff, but this is expensive. You don't really need to get this. Dental floss works just as well. Um, but you need cordage, so make sure you have cord with you. This is what I carry on my everyday carry kit so I don't have a big pile of 550 cord because it's a little thicker. And the last thing is I didn't hear you again. Did you say you had a whistle in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, where did he go? This is a whistle. This is a cool whistle. Um, you can make it into zipper pulls. So you can put it on any kind of something. It goes in and then you, your, little zipper go, your little zipper cord goes here and then you lock that in place and it's not going to come off. And that's a super loud whistle. So don't ever get the pee filled whistles like we had when we were kids, the metal ones that and had a little ball going around. Don't mess with that. Get a, get a P-less whistle. And um, Fox 40 is kind of the common one you hear, and that's just one that you'll see laying around. You don't have to get that one. I don't, even, I don't get that one, but it's one that you can remember as a, a P-less whistle. These are super loud. They're super, super duper loud. And it's a whole lot easier whistling than it is trying to scream. Your voice is going to go really quickly. Um, now, before we get too far... I want to go over two more, three more things, and then we can do some questions. Gloves, you should always have leather gloves. Moving fire, like I'll make a fire and I can pick up my fire and move it. I can pick up something hot, pot off the pan, I mean a pot off the fire. Um, I can cut with it and I don't really have to worry about hurting myself. You can go cheap, 10 bucks, or you can go 50 bucks. Um, I go 50 bucks because I think it's pretty groovy having these little guys that, that I can attach them together with a little carabiner and hang them from something so I don't lose them. Um, these you can't do. I mean, I could put a hole in it, but I like this one. These are... Who makes those gloves? I'm sorry? Who makes those gloves? Uh, this is a climbing company called Petzl. Petzl? Petzl. Same guys that make the lights? They make the lights. I don't use their lights, but they make decent lights on their lights. They tend to leak water. Um, I also carry around a big giant piece of leather. <coughs> when I make a fire, my fire little thing is built right here. So like if you have a fireplace at home, trying to get everything lit in there sometimes is a pain in the butt. Um, if you have a piece of leather, you can actually move the fire and toss, toss the fire into the fire and it lights up. I can, get, I can get a good sized fire running on a piece of leather and put it in there. Or if I'm gonna be working on something sensitive and I don't wanna tear anything up, I do it on here. Um, Okay, that, you need to make sure you have some sort of leather, whether it's gloves or a piece of leather. Um, first aid kit, I have a crazy first aid kit. It, you know, I can, I could go through all of it. If you want to go through it after we're done, I can go through it. The biggest thing I would say have is charcoal and iodine. If you have charcoal and iodine, you can do a lot of stuff. Um, someone has a tummy ache, give them charcoal. Someone has, you have some dirty water, put some iodine in it. Um, someone has a cut, put some iodine on it. Um, charcoal, someone gets poisoned, give them some charcoal. You can smear charcoal into a wound and it's fine. So you can get charcoal at any first aid, or CVS, anything like that. Walmart has it a lot of times, that kind of stuff. Next thing is water drinking capabilities. 
I got all these open blades. Let's get rid of some of these blades. Sorry. Okay, blades are your friend. Don't be afraid of them. They're your friend. I have a way to sharpen them. I have a sharpener somewhere in this mess. Um, okay. Let's go over drinking water. So this belongs to Lori and Scott, the container. And inside, I have a version, is a water purification bottle. There's a lot of different versions. I use this one. Um, you can get them from all, the, all these different brands have these and water straws and all kinds of stuff. Water, water purification is no joke. And there's a lot of water filters out there and filters are, they're not worth it. They're not worth their money and they're not worth your time. There's only a couple companies that make water purifiers. And that means if the water comes out, it's pure. Nothing's coming out that's gonna make you sick. There's a couple companies that it's so clean that you can use it as IV fluid. That's what I mess with personally. You can have it done chemically, which is uh, like iodine or bleach, run it through a you know, something like that. You can have it done electrically, which is kind of like a SteriPen, which is a UV ray that kills everything in it, so everything is no longer activated. So if it's got Giardia or Cristoportium in it or, or uh, any of those weird things that are gonna make you sick, it kills it, all those viruses and bacteria in it. And then they have things that actually do both or all three that purify by blocking it, screening it out, uh, chemically all, uh, changing it and killing it via UV ray. I'm not going, I'm not that crazy. I'm not going to do all that. Um, for a pump filter, there's only one in the world to use and it's made by a company called General Ecology or First Need. I don't have it here with me because it's in my backpack for backpacking. It's super fast. Water comes out, it's amazing. I've used it in every country that I've ever been to. It's awesome. I will probably never use it again because of this company. This company just came out. They have a really cool TED talk. The other thing I like about them is they're giving them to a bunch of people. Every time you, you know, if you pay like $20, $30 extra, they give one away to a third world country. Okay. Um, it's on TED. Um, TED Talk has one. Do we all know what TED Talk is? What's it called? It's called Lifesaver. Um, Lifesaver bottle. The, um, and it gives you specific direction. TED Talk is a, if you don't know what TED is, it's, a, it's an idea a bunch of no, smart people get. Yep, and they have some cool talks. Look up Lifesaver water bottle on Lifesaver and they'll have it. They also make, for your extended, we talked about 72, 24, all that kind of stuff, a five gallon water jug. I think this is good for like 10,000 gallons. Is that what that one was? 5,000, oh, liters. 3.78 liters per gallon. Okay, you need to make sure you can carry a gallon. So I have the ability always to be able to carry 10 liters. 3.78 liters is a gallon. This carries almost three gallons of water when it's full, but it packs up. This has been on the outside of a, this particular one has been on the outside of a, a backpack with me jumping out of a helicopter and, uh, or repelling it. Someone threw it out. It was on the outside. It landed on it. It didn't explode. It was held, it was a hundred pound pack that it got dropped on. This guy is no joke. There's a bunch of companies that make water bladders. Um, this is a 10 liter one and they make them in all different sizes. I use this one because I can, it's got a little spout, so I can take a shower, I lay it out, it gets hot. It's got a big spout so I can pour it into something, and it's got a huge spout so I can attach a water purifier to it. This little, this little one comes off also, and I can attach a drink tube like a Camelback, like a water like a drinking tube. Um, so mine are all like this, so I can just take my drinking tube and change it. This guy, this, everyone should have one of these in their house because if, even if you have sewage water, you can, you can pretty much get clean water out of it with this guy without having to pump. Is that purified? Is that destroyed? Yeah, when you watch the TED Talk, and you'll be shocked. This I was shocked. Yeah, this is Lifesaver also. This is the same company. They make a water bottle and a jerry can. Um, and then if you run across it, I would say have some extra either water bladders. They make huge water bladders that can hold two, 300 gallons, and you can just, like if you're super worried about it, you can start filling those up as soon as something weird happens. Um, if, I think the smartest way to do it is if you're in your house, put on a rain catchment tank, 
and you have rain coming down all the time and you can water your grass with it, but you also have water always stored outside your house. Nothing else can get in it. It's a super easy solution. They're 80 bucks for a 55 gallon water catchment drum. Okay, the last thing I wanna talk about is bathroom. This is your friend right here. Portable bathroom, see? Even gives you a little seat. That's nice. Um, trash bags and kitty litter. Yeah, kitty litter's your friend on this guy. Um, solid waste, liquid waste goes elsewhere. Don't put your liquid waste, if you can avoid it, pee somewhere else. Uh, it lasts longer. The other thing you can use is cedar chips, um, some lime. People aren't going to be really hip on that, but when, you're, when your sewage system doesn't work, this thing will save your butt. <laughs> um, all the trash goes in. You don't ever want to get this mixed. This is a completely different area of wherever you are. A good, make sure it's away. The other thing to do is don't keep the lid on it. Get a real lid like you would find in a, uh, in a paint supply store when they come with it to seal it shut. And then you store everything in so it's waterproof and you don't break your lid. Your lid um, and you don't have to change the bag every time you use it because you can just put some... A lot of people, they change the bag every time they use it. If you have kitty litter, cedar chips, and some lime, it won't get funky. It won't get weird. If everybody's eating well, um, you're fine. If you're eating a bunch of beans, grain, rice, pasta... <laughs> um, if you got a bunch of four-year-olds... <laughs> Um, that way you don't have to change it. You have a real lid on there. Take the real lid off, put that back on. If you want to go super cheap, um, I've seen people use uh, <laughs> um, Frisbees. They've taken a Frisbee and cut a hole out and put it on a piece of PVC pipe and then put a plastic bag in it. Not my style. <laughs> I want to be comfy. So it's more comfortable. Uh, and these are cheap. This is like a $15 lid and probably a five gallon but you don't have to get it with the bucket. Like you can go, go to any construction site and get a crazy amount of buckets. And this is 10 bucks. And then you just use any plastic bags you got laying around.